Let's see what happens when we try to leave our brother alone. Leaving your brother doesn't seem like a noble choice. Every year, a young boy is chosen to defeat the king of the mountain. So far, none of them have returned. This time, your brother was chosen and you were sent to accompany him to the dead king's gate. Your order is to wait here, but your sorrows start to overwhelm you. In this first stage, we have to avoid that zombie. I do that by going above and wait for him to attack and just move right before he attacks. Rummaging through a pile of dirt, you find your brother's sword. You hesitate for a second before you touch the hilt. The gods remain silent. The elders were wrong. Now once we have the sword, we can actually kill them. Hard to guess what's in there, but you're pretty sure it's not a rat. I killed them all, because why not? An empty old shelf that contains nothing but a load of dust and ashes. This place belongs to the dead. The smashed wooden door reveals a stairway that leads deeper into the heart of Tread Rock Mountain. Fearing for your brother's life, you hurry downwards. So in this level, you have to be clever with your steps, that is. Otherwise it's very easy. This is a bit of a complex level for the beginners because this introduces a new concept namely how to kill stronger enemies here you have to dodge the spider then wait for it to attack and then you have to immediately hit it and move before it attacks do it enough time and the spider is dead Open all the doors and move a bit aside for her to cast her spell. Hey, you there? You look familiar. Ah, of course, that boy who was brought in here yesterday, your Sinichan, right? They came to take him down to the king. About an hour ago, they say his group lies a hundred levels deep in that rock mountain, behind an underground lake that only the dead can cross. I'm gonna run for my life, and I suggest you better do the same. Ah, uh, oh, and thanks for saving Anicia.
A terrible smell fills the air, and you hear a deep growl from behind the fountain that blocks your sight. Your mother's words echo in your head. Choose wisely when to pick a fight, and when to avoid it. So in this level, you again have to be smart because a new concept is introduced. If you run too fast, the arc is not stupid. Dark roots that seem to emit an evil aura of infestation. He will not follow you and go back to guarding the door. So you have to take it one step at a time and make him follow you far enough. Now this introduces the concept of interconnected levels. In this game, there are multiple interconnected levels where characters from the previous level or the next one will interact with the level above or below. For example, this arc changes us for two levels. Here we have to quickly avoid that trapdoor ourselves and then kill this whatever the shit that is and wait for that orb to come to us. And then we can just quickly open the trapdoor. A thin stream of hot lava trickling down the wall. An old fireplace. Chilled by the cold stone walls, you quickly light it up. Some warmth will do you good. Time to get some sleep. The fire looks inviting, and the weariness of the last hours or days washes over you. You cuddle up next to it and fall fast asleep. As you head towards the stairs, you remember fragments of a strange dream. Something about the village elders. At the Dead King's Gate? Well, it was just a stupid dream, so you'd better get going. Spill no blood, and you shall walk free. Huh. This level is all about quickly moving to that position. Mm. 
ice cold mountain water. Probably poisoned. So in this one again a new concept is introduced. The wall in front of you contains some loose bricks. With some effort, you manage to pull one of them out. Of removable objects from the wall. And you can throw this stone and that's about it. The floor plate in front of you has four large holes in it. As you take a closer look, you notice remains of dried blood, skin, and hair. Could this be some kind of trap? Any volunteers to check? You need to kill the zombies because both of those spikes are meant for the powerful orc. So once you have started to luring the orc towards you, Quickly go to the other side so that he walks through that trap. If killing Ox was that easy, huh? Two beings can coexist in time, but not in place? This is a very clever level. You have to teleport at the same time a person is standing on the tile. Because then you teleport and two things exist at the same place at the same time, which is not possible so the older one dies. A collapsed tunnel. Tons of rubble remind you of just how far you're away from the light of day. Take your time and catch him. This guy can't be caught. So all you have to do is just push him out of this level. Like this. Again, this is the concept of the interconnected levels. So that's all for today. See you guys next time. Let's go to the dungeon. She said. To the new, she meant the dead drop one.